What's going on guys? All right, so behind me here, I got a uh, 2018 ZL1 1LE. So we just completed some work on this car and not on the dyno yet, but we're gonna put it up there soon. Um, I'll get it up there next, but I just kind of wanted to go over the car first before I put it up in the dyno. And um, so yeah, this is, uh, like I said, 2018 ZLE, LT4 obviously. And uh, this has our stage two package to it. So we did another stage two. Um, so our, this, so try not to confuse you guys, but stage two for our Nikki packages is getting into the engine. So that means we're getting into the top end of the engine. Um, and then from there we can do stage one cams or stage two cams or so whatever. So this one has our stage one cam, which is the most popular, um, still drives with a stock converter. This car happens to be a manual transmission, but, um, very drivable camshaft. You can pull away from idle like stock. Um, still has a noticeable idle, but uh, definitely adds a pow bunch of power to these LTs. Uh, these LT motors, we're finding, don't need as much of a camshaft jump to get into these big horsepower jumps, you know, 70, 80 horsepower at the reels with a cam, cam swap. So the Stage 1 cam is super popular. Um, good idle. It's got a good sounding idle, but it also drives very well from even, you know, 15, 1600 RPM. So, um, this car has ported heads, uh, and you can also see this guy obviously got the 2650 on top. Uh, Rotofab 5 inch, big gulp, and this car we did do 112 KTEC with the uh, KTEC 112 inlet, the, their billet inlet. Um, actually, that 112 throttle body, we've, we definitely even see a gain on something like this. Um, that these, these cars come in, you know, typically upper 700s, low 800s. And we're seeing a little bit of a gain even going up to that 112, even on a low boost setup like this, you know, 12 pounds. So, um, and it, again, no, no, uh, the drivability of the car does not suffer at all with that big throttle body. So, um, we got our Tracy Lewis catch can on it, ATI balancer with a 8.2 lower and a 90 millimeter upper that comes with the Magnuson. That seems to be kind of our go-to for pump gas boost combination for these pulleys that's that this is getting us 12 12 and a half pounds of boost at the top end on this on this setup and that is about the limit maybe 13 pounds is about the limit i'll take stuff like this when it's just straight 93 octane no math no 85 uh, anymore you're just you have to start pulling so much timing out it's just not worth adding the extra boost because you get to the point where you're you're adding a pound of boost the, the power you gain from the pound of boost you then have to pull back out in timing so it, there's kind of a it's kind of a wash so um this car does have our nikki edition american racing two inch headers and it also has a full three inch american racing system on it um so all the way back so headers to, to mufflers this is american racing which is another popular option gives a little deeper tone um, I'll fire the car up here in a second. We can listen to the cam. Um, 160 degree thermostat. And this car, we also did a triple pump for innovation system on it. So uh, triple 450s. This guy might go port injection in the future. So we kind of future proofed it for port injection. So we wanted to put the big fuel system on it now. Um, cam has a 27% low. We've been doing that more since... Um, just the 32 and 38s aren't needed, especially when we go into port injection. Um, we're stepping back on the lobe a little bit with port injected stuff versus going to a big high pressure pump and big high pressure uh, DI injectors. A um, little bit, little bit easier on the high pressure pump. You know, if we don't have to lift it that big amount, we're not going to. So that that lobe is proving to be sufficient for what we do with the DI injectors. I think that pretty much covers it. Yeah, so, you know, heads, our, our Stage 1 cam, ported heads, the 2650. You can also see it's got this lid on it. So um, this is a too high PSI product. Mike, out, uh, he's out in California. His, he's got really good stuff. We've been using his port injection plates. I'll have a, another video up coming up soon um, on our first port injection system that I'm tuning that we've done with a too, uh, too high PSI um, and their reflex box. And it's, yeah, we wired one in, and I'm doing a little bit of kind of some some preliminary stuff on that, learning the software um, and kind of how that works. And so after this car's on the dyno, I'm gonna put another ZL11 LE up in the dyno with port injection, similar to this, but we're gonna run some uh, ethanol through the other car. So this car, for now, will just be 93 octane. 
but we'll still get good numbers out of it because um, you know I still expect to be close to that 800 mark because that's where we've been with our other packages with this same stuff so um, let's go ahead and fire this thing up we did do obviously after we did all the work I did do a warm-up cycle and kind of a bass tune just so you guys can hear the cam before it's got a good sound it's got a good idle it's not super aggressive but there, there came out of the cold start mode there so there it's gonna kind of settle into the idle just so you guys can hear from a cold start I know cold start videos are super popular and whatever I don't I don't get into that stuff but some of you guys do and just so you can kind of hear it yeah so switch it off here so yeah we'll get this thing up on the dyno um, I'll get some uh, I'll get some a tune-up kind of dialed up on it and uh, ready to go and then I'll kind of finish the video off with the uh, with a final dyno number and we'll go from there some other working runs up there we didn't get to 800 but we got close so 791 677 torque so you can see some of these other runs here were some of the tuning runs that I was doing kind of working up the timing and leaning it out um, basically both once I got up you know I was, I was pretty rich on these two 777 runs um, and like upper teens and I was, most of this was leaning it out. Once I got it to about 20 degrees of timing, that's where I stopped. Um, so the 783 and 791 were pretty much the same timing. Um, 791, just a little leaner. So uh, Lambda was like 28.79 on some of these other runs. And so leaning it up, um, these, you know, these LTs like to be a little bit leaner than like an LS motor. So they'll, they'll pick up a little power, so. So yeah, we, you know, it would have been nice to see 800, but this car is, again, this car's got low mileage on it. It's a pretty tight engine still. Um, the baseline, so we can take a look at that. Because that's obviously, really what we're after is the gain. And that's our gain. So this car came in, again, because I, I think it's because it's, it's a newer car. 536 was the baseline on this car. So some of the, sometimes we'll see, normally we'll see on like a, you know, high, not higher mileage, if something's like five or 10,000 miles on it, we'll see, 550, 560, especially from a manual. Um, so we're still picking up, you know, like the last one of these I did with this package made 800, just maybe a smidge over 800, but that car baseline like 560 or 570 even, it was real strong um, for a ZLE. So really what we're looking at is the Delta. So I can close, let's see here, I can close out all of it so we can kind of get a more simplified view. There's the final. And then that first baseline I did, 536, there's our gain. So, kind of pull this down. So there's the gain, you can see this. Yeah, that's a big jump. And the cool part about this, with the Magnuson, obviously with the ported heads in the cam, but we're only running two pounds of boost more than stock. Stock's 10, this is 12, that's it. So we're picking up that much power with a two pound increase. Obviously, you know, with the cam and the ported heads um, and the Magnuson, all that stuff compounds on top of each other. And that's why we get this huge gain in everything. Um, you know, even picking up 150 pound feet of torque is, you know, crazy over stock. So yeah, I mean, this is, it's real strong. This is a, this will be a real fun car to drive around stick shift. I'm, I'm a stick shift guy. So again, this car is like, kind of like my dream car right now for, for what I do, I really like road racing, and um, this package here, if I, if I had a little bit more coin, this is what I would have. This
this exact setup. So, you know, ported heads, our stage one cam, the blower, the big, big throttle body, the full exhaust. This is like the package to me. Um, and then from here, you can obviously add port injection and E85 it and, you know, push the bottom end to its limit. But yeah, man, that's, I'm, I'm happy with this. Uh, just kind of looking at the curve here. Everything looks real nice. Again, we can take a look at the data graph or the data log. door shut I got cables running through so it doesn't ding at us when we're looking at this but yeah so again you've seen these before let's kind of go back over this one you can see um, yeah so we're hitting yeah boost is 12 in the 12s um, air fuel you can see you know that's some low 0 0.8s, 0 0.81, 0 0.82, a little maybe in a 0.3s. Timing, I got a little bit of static timing pulled out of cylinder two. Um, these LT4s just, I don't know if, you know, obviously the knock sensor settings for cylinder two are a little more sensitive in the knock, individual knock sensitivity tables. Um, so I will, and from the factory, again, I showed you that in another video, from the factory, they pull like five degrees of timing in some of the areas out of cylinder two. So I usually just pull like a degree or two. This one I was able to get away with just about a degree. Um, and that, that kept all that happy. Um, again, you know, we're on 93 octane, strictly just 93. So, you know, you gotta kind of play around with stuff to try to get some timing in it. You can see I'm just hitting 21 degrees at the very top, but it was taking that at the top and it was making, I mean, it's very, it's, that's at the very tippy top of the range. I'm only revving this to 71. So it just is climbing to 21 degrees, like at 6,900. Um, so if you're running this thing through the gears, it's gonna be there for such a short period of time. Even in like fourth gears, you're winding it up at you know, 140, 150. So, but it was taking all the time. I was not getting any knock out of it at 21. I don't like going any much further than that on pump gas. Um, these LT4s can be, if, if you start trying to push the timing and in a, in a dyno pole, especially a four speed or six speed manual car, um, when you're in fourth gear, the dyno pole is kind of short. And obviously I'm gonna go street drive this car to, to make sure all this stuff, I always do that. I always take them out in the street and make sure, um, make sure everything looks good on the street. So make sure I'm not, you know, obviously a street pole can maybe be a little bit longer and sometimes longer poles in one gear will show knock where a, a shorter dyno pole like this won't. So, um, so I, I may have to put a little pull a little bit, but I, that's just because it's just a little bit at the very top, I think we'll be good there. Um, yeah, this is looking good. Um, I'm gonna go take it out and do some drivability. Just finishing dialing the VE table. This car is running pretty good as it is. Um, I got kind of my base VE table for our stage one cam in it. Um, so per car, you gotta tweak that just a little bit, but um, I do a little bit of driving in an hour or so, maybe two hours of driving around the street and dialing all that stuff in. and. And this will be good to go. So take a look at that dynograph one more time. Getting that baseline with that final. That 794, that's, I mean, you can almost call that 800. It's right there. It's just kind of wavering, but that'll be a lot of fun. So that'll conclude this video. Um, we're going to have some more of these things up on the dyno soon with some port injection on them. So some E85 and port injection, similar package to this, but with the port. So those will be pushing a little further. Um, check back to the channel. Like, like and subscribe if you like it. Leave comments. I love reading comments. And uh, thanks for watching.